Was I on the Skid Factory? <laughs> Today on the Skid Factory, we're putting the wagons to the ultimate test. What am I even saying? This is just so comfy back here, Alan, with you. Today on the Skid Factory, we're putting our two crown wagons to the test to find out who's king. Welcome back to the Car Review Factory, the home of the most honest and relevant car reviews on the internet. This is my JZS 171 Toyota Crown. And that's Woody's GS 130 Toyota Crown. We take things pretty seriously here at the Car Review Factory, so that's why we've come up with a series of vigorous tests so that we can compare these two iconic JDM long roofs. Now that you've sacked your JDM wagon for maximum hot boy status, we need to test whether you've ruined the drivability and functionality of the car. We've come down here to AM Auto to find three average Aussie males and see whether they still fit in the back comfortably. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Hey, do you guys want to sign this waiver before I break your spine? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does anyone want to hop in the back, right at the very back? No, no. Well, why not? They've all got to be in the back seat because right, cool. I don't have a back seat. All right, well, ladies first, be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> Leon, you don't get a handle. Have you ever seen on the subways in Japan when they're trying to get them to all fit? <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bump Stop Express. Today we'll be doing a lap of the block, and you can rate this vehicle out of 10 compared to Alan's car. Okay, sweet. This is gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe in. <laughs> oh. I have to take that another angle, I reckon. More angle. I don't think it's going to matter, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is that the chassis creaking? It's either the chassis creaking, chassis mounts, or ball joints. Oh, the rubbish. I don't think we're actually on bump stops. Personally, I think it's pretty comfortable. It is pretty yeah. comfortable. Don't go any faster. Oh, this is the Bilstein the, bump. The bump, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Good old Bilstein bump. I've definitely been in worse. Yeah, I think I've owned worse. <laughs> you've never lived until you've driven a car around on bump stops, I'll tell you that. Oh, I did that for a while. <laughs> Can we do a moose test? What's the moose test? You know, like that swirl, the lane change. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> gonna pop a tire. We should have had a speed bump test to go over a speed bump while we're at it. <laughs> Actually, the driveway is good enough, isn't it? Yeah. You don't go in straight though. <laughs> what is that noise? That's just the front tire hitting on the guard. Don't no, worry about it. That's fine. But I removed the bolt so there's no sharp edges. Don't worry about it. Excellent. So there's nothing holding the guard on, is what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's fine. All right. Back with speed. Oh! Yeah. It's a kinda, vibration. It kind of hurts your soul when you hear that noise, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job, Woody. That's do awesome. We, do we, do we right. judge now or do we... Judge after. Judge, judge after. after. Yeah. I can't get out. <laughs> so Lucas, as a Crown fanatic, comparing <laughs> comparing the cars yeah. and probably the owner of one of the cleanest Majestas in Australia, what do you reckon about these cars? Well, at first glance, I mean, yours is real clean, done a good job. Thanks, mate. Cheers. And, um, but we'll have to wait to ride in else to yeah. see what the comparison is. <laughs> so, yeah. we'll a see. bit high. <laughs> a bit high for Lucas's tastes. <laughs> oh, my God. Got less room. Yes. It feels like yeah, it. Yeah, does. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> this seat's forward too. I thought I was going to dominate this. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's, that's normal. <laughs> oh, he's hitting the bump with speed. Let me squash racing. Yeah, look at oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. that. Impressive. Yeah, everyone Impressive. was saying that $400 coilovers were shit. <laughs> Who's laughing now? It is towing an invisible caravan right now, though. Kids love that. 
I had to put a blow valve on it for the gas. Oh, okay. <laughs> you love it. You didn't do it for gas, you did it for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it's proper work and I like that. Okay, I'm definitely gonna say you are by far the winner. Yeah, well, yeah. well hang on. Comfortability, as in driving wise? Not moving comfort or well, on the road. Well, yours is definitely way smoother. But what about room in the back? Room in the back is awesome. Yeah, yours got more room in the back. Yeah. But I was gonna say some of the comfort in the back of here is the seats. Yeah. Oh yeah. the leather. Yeah. yeah. Don't you like the velour? The velour is nice. The, the seat look, is more comfortable. Look at the cutout for Leon's head. <laughs> <laughs> they really thought this through. Didn't they? Now you know what a touring wagon means. <laughs> <laughs> it means big tall guy in the back of the car. All right, thank you for your assistance, gentlemen. Much appreciated. That's right. Who do you reckon's the winner? Oh, I'm gonna have to say Al is. Al? Yeah, it's yep. a lot more comfortable. Little bit less room, but more comfortable. Is that because of your bias? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no. I, I much prefer old school, but I have to say that's yeah. more comfortable. All right, cool. All right, thank you. It's good to see you, Stinton. Enjoy. See you, mate. Well, on, on to the next test. Right up, Warren. <laughs> see you next time. This is like when you call that guy up marketplace who said he can respray your car for a thousand bucks. This is USS Tokyo Grade 4B, <laughs> which is supposed to be like immaculate condition. Only driven to denominational cult of your choice on Sundays. Look at this overspray here though, that's mint. Works well. No one would ever know, Alan. They're not gonna know. <laughs> They're gonna know. It's not always about comfort, sometimes it's about style. So we're gonna get some opinions from our mates. First stop is Patrick at Smart Automotive Technology. Let's see what he thinks. Ours is better because it's got the moving air vents. It's got that as well. Mine's got the swing too. <laughs> you don't have the backpack seats, do you, Al? No. Nah. What's the verdict, Patrick? I know you're pretty familiar with my car after fixing all the crap that's what was wrong with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to go with Woody's car, simply just because you can fit more people in it. There's more of a good time. More cruising. More cruising. Watch that door when you open it, sir. Quick trip around the corner to see Sabo at Luba and Kyle at Parker's Shed to get their opinions on the cars. What wheels are these? R33, pretty old. If you could own one, what would you pick? That one, for sure. Yeah. You, oh. You would... I've had two of these in here in the last week, dude. So yeah, of course I'm going on that one. Oh. All right, so Sabo says my car. It's Kyle this. says your car. It's this, that gets you. The high roof. The high roof, the nice 80s pearlescent Toyota paint. That'd there we go. Both got sunroofs. It's not Toyota paint anymore. Isn't it? Has that been resprayed? Who sprayed that? Where are we going next? See if Jolie's still there. All right, sweet. Just spotted Jolie from W Painting around the corner, so we thought we'd ask him. A man of Im impeccable taste, so I know which he's gonna choose. <laughs> what do you reckon, mate? Uh, I'll have to go with this one. Oh! oh this, this wasn't planned. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, Jolie. <laughs> Next up is our mate stand at Noosa Speed Shop. Let's see what they think. Woody's has got a dicky seat in the back. Dicky seat. Hey, can you hook me up with some gas struts while you're there? Get the measuring tape out. I got you, bro. The curtains are a big selling point. You love the curtains? The curtains are a big selling point on the Yeah, they are pretty cool, eh? Yeah. yeah. I like all things cars, but I'm probably going to go with the one game. Uh -huh. Sorry, Woody. <laughs> All good. No, I like it, and I like the styling of it. One J. But the one J for the win. One J owns Dickie C. <laughs> I'd still have to go the old school one, eh? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keen's going for mine. I like the wrap. I like the wrap. Yeah, I'm still. I'm going to still stick by the one. All right. Yeah. <laughs> one each. Thanks, dude. Cheers, sir. Right, Appreciate you. it. Wrap Paddy's 4x4 garage, where we get most of our tyres and stuff from, is Jake. Hi, Jake. Oh, yeah. Is this, is this a tiebreaker? <laughs> we, want, we want to know your opinion on, on our cars. Which car, which crown wagon is better? Ooh, who's is who? Which do you prefer? 
Old school is pretty cool. I'm gonna go old school. Old school! It's tough, but I've always got my eyes on the red one. Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> Second last stop, we're down at Pacific Ford to see Adrian and Trav, see what they think. What do you reckon, boys? We've got, we've got one JZ Power, leather seats, still old but kind of newer than mine, or seven seater, supercharged two litre, mint paint job. I like the summer nut seats. The summer nut seats, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you can't take it to summer nuts because it's got no power. Yeah, true that, true that. <laughs> I'll still be sitting in the back drinking. So which one are you going to pick out of the two, if you had to pick one? I'll go in the right. Adrian's going Alan. Yeah. I'll go on white. And Travis is going me. <laughs> See? Sweet ass. Thanks, boys. Nice, Cheers, dudes. Cool, man. Thanks, man. Sweet ass. Oh, look at that cruiser. Our last stop is Noosa Radiators, but there's no old cock available because he's retired. Instead, we've got not young cock, but Luke. Hey, everybody. New cock. I like new cock. It's good. <laughs> young cock, new, new cock. cock. Well, he, he didn't like that name, so maybe if you want to comment below a new name for Luke instead of not including cocks. <laughs> yeah, just no cocks. <laughs> no. It's going to make your life so much easier when you edit. No, yeah. I've, I'm still, I'll still put something up, I reckon. Try and keep it a cock-free zone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're down here for two reasons. One, we need to get your opinion, Luke, on which car you prefer better. I know you're already going to pick mine because it's an awesome vehicle. Yeah, maybe. I think I'm going to have to go with what is, only because I saw how much work went into the respray. Yeah, he oh. did. My man. I've also got a sneaky bribe under the table there. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you reckon? We'll be cracking that one later on. The other reason we're here is because Luke's got a bunch of stock of aircon condensers, uh, radiators, basically big boxes which we can shove in the back of our wagons because wagons are for shoving things in the back of and see how much room we can, maybe we do like a, see how many we can get in one car and then if we can fit the same in the other I car. I know I'm going to win so let's start with mine. Alright cool. Can we stack them on top of each other or not? What's the go there? Yeah we'll go as high as we can go. Tetris them as good as you Alright sweet let's do it. Are oh, you going down that way? Going for a combo. I may have made some mistakes in my packing systems. <laughs> That's not gonna work. There's a bungee cord. <laughs> <laughs> hey! All right, so now I'll just try and get that into my car. Up until about 30 seconds ago, I was supremely confident that I had this in the bag, but not so much now. Which way are we going to do these? There's a time limit as well. There's a time limit? Yeah. No, there's not. So that one's sticking out heaps. Oh. No way. Dude, that's a stitch up. There's no way. Oh, you pulled that out. <laughs> Done. And I could fit more in there, I reckon, too, with ease. I just let me hear that sweet ping noise in the corner there from the scoreboard. Complacency bit me on the ass and I snatched defeat from the hands of victory by being <laughs> slack with my packing. So Woody took the win there. Surprisingly a lot more room in that back of that thing than I thought. As you can see, Luke keeps a massive range of radiators here. So if you're broken down on the way up to North Shore and you've got plenty of money, come here and get a new radiator or get your aircon regas. And condensers and compressors and, and all those stuff. Everything. Yeah. Big thanks to Luke from Noosa Radiators. Road trips go hand in hand with your wagons. What goes hand in hand with road trips? Well, that is drinking lemon squash. Maybe not drinking lemon squash, but drinking a nice refreshment while you're driving with your mates. You can also get this stuff in the merch store if you like. 
coffee cups may or may not be a different colour, but they're still stainless steel quality camping cup. Uh, this car doesn't have any cup holders. Unfortunately, it's got less cup holders than a 79 series, but that's just what it is. I usually just stash the coffee cup down the front there, but I've already stained the carpet, so that's where they belong on the floor. The next test is glove compartments. We've got a bunch of Tool Pro gloves here, and we're going to count how many secret stashes within the driver's seat area we can find and stash some gloves. So straight up, centre console, one. I've got two. We'll go three in the front here. We have got four, five. Can we count this down here, Alan? Is that counted? What do you reckon? Six? Yeah, that's a nice little glove compartment. I'm gonna run out of gloves here. Seven in that door. You can't reach that door. Eight. Damn it. All right. What about this little coin slot? Surely I can jam one in there. This is like the toll coin slot or something, isn't it? For the tolls, you know, when you go through the two chings? That's not gonna work. There we go, that door. Seven. Seven glove compartments for your gloves. This being a far more modern and superior vehicle to Woody's, it does have cup holders. Two, in fact. And they almost fit a normal sized drink. As for compartments for gloves, I have many. One, two, three. Ashtray, that's, no, come on. Four. <laughs> five. Six. Oh, that's a CD stacker. Not anymore. It's a glove dispenser. Seven. That's a tight draw. That's a tie. <laughs> For this next test, we've enlisted the Skid Factory's most popular staff member. This is Roger, the man's best friend. Every wagon has to have room for your best friend. So Alan's going to lead him to the car and see if he jumps in. No, you've got to lead him to your own car. I've got to lead him to my car? Okay then. All right. Roger, stop. Come on. All right. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Oh, big horse is in. Damn. Right, oh, good boy. Well then, let's see him. I was relying on that, not happening. <laughs> okay then. Rog, Rog. That's because he likes yeah. me. Let's go. Let's, 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 let's go. Oh, he likes both cars. Well, that didn't work well, did it? Can we, like, try and get into... Roger. Rog, come on. Let's go. Come on, come in. Oh, he picked mine. Roger, here. Come on, man! <laughs> Roger is the lover of all things Crown Wagon by the look of it. What are you eating in there? His lead. Well, he's sitting down in your car, so I'm definitely going to say it's a win for you, I reckon. Plus, he, he looks terribly excited. <laughs> <laughs> on the topic of being excited, everyone loves the back seat of a wagon. So now we're going to test. You've got to jump in too, Al. Which is more comfortable with two people. Yeah, come on. Let's go, get in here. It doesn't appear to be very comfortable at all. This is all right. Oh, the wheel wells makes it a bit cozy, doesn't it? It's terribly comfortable. <laughs> I don't know, Alan, it does look a bit narrow, but it looks a bit longer than yours, maybe. I'm just impressed that you're able to get those ancient seats to fold down. It's kind of just like a bit of a sleeping bag. You just got like some side intrusions, that's all. Come on, come get cozy with me. Absolutely not. Why not? It's comfy back here. You're not keen? No. It seems like these two wagons are actually pretty close in capability for the tests that we put them through, <laughs> as rigorous as they were. But we haven't talked about one thing, and that is performance and handling. And that's because there's absolutely no contest. This car here is going to be 10 times better or more than that old wagon there. Ooh, by far. It's got about, well, it's probably got three times the power for a start. Uh, suspension, brakes, vehicle dynamics, everything's obviously much, much newer. So it's, um, a, um, it's no contest really, is there? 
You said rigorous before. Is it rigorous or vigorous? Rigorous. It's rigorous? Yeah. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Rigorous test, test, test. Comparing these two cars would be like comparing an A86 to a... BRZ. To a, yeah, literally it's like... They're two totally different cars. Romantically, you would love to think that that tofu hunting old Corolla <laughs> is actually the best handling car in the world, but it just isn't. The new car is better. This has got like a full chassis. As Al said, it doesn't make as much power. Not to mention that some idiot lowered it way too much and it's it's also very old, so it has some, some slightly worn. I lowered this way too much as well. This is still comfortable though for oh, no, what it right. is. Compared so to lemon squash coilovers. This has got like proper McPherson strut and heaps of arms and geometry in the front of it, which has been well thought out, rather than a copy of a copy of a copy, which that's literally just a, a, a slight evolution of the of the old Crown sh chassis. It's the same. Yeah, like double A arms, uh, live axle. There's really nothing to it, so you can't expect too much from it. So all in all, we've come up with a winner. We've uh, got the judges to add up all the scores. And the winner is actually uh, the 2007 Subaru Liberty. Is it 2007? That's right, it's the Grommets Liberty. <laughs> it wins. Everything but outright power, it does better than, than these two wagons. Well, let's be honest here, that EZ30 still is very lively for what it is. It is pretty lively. It's an awesome little car. And it's also much more engaging to drive because it's a manual and it's a bit more sporty and you sort of drive it around and think you're you're an 18 year old which is pretty good for an old fella like me so yeah plot twist there we have it for the car review factory hope you guys have enjoyed this episode we've had fun making it uh thanks for always watching the show thank you to everyone for supporting us via patreon and everyone who buys some merchandise it helps us out a lot and without you guys without your support we wouldn't be doing this so thanks again Cheers to the Crown Factory and the Car Review Factory. We're going to do more of these, I reckon. <laughs> it was fun. It's, the, it's all factories to all things. And we'll be back next week. Speaking of factories, we've got a Harrop tour, Harrop factory tour coming yes, up. Yes, we do. Yeah. It's going to be harrowing <laughs> for me. <laughs> word, of that, the, word of the day. <laughs> harrowing. <laughs> Cheers, dudes. See you next time. tree falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it, do you actually hear it? I mean, does it make a sound? Yeah. It does, eh? What was that? Welcome back to the car review factory. Welcome back to the car review factory. Then what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you. Ah! You're getting bit by something. It's a golden orb. Is it really? No. Ain't nobody want to see that, bros. Hi, everybody. Oh, wait, the focus is out. Bye, everybody.